Sometimes we know that the game object we want to find has a certain component assigned to it. For example, a rigid body, an audio source, a camera, or some script we have created. If we are sure that only our object in the entire hierarchy has that component, we could use that information to find the reference of our object. Here, for example, I will use this component, a script called some script, and as we see, it's the only object in hierarchy that has it. So in the script, I'm going to use the find object of type function. With this function, we can find a specific component in the hierarchy. Notice that there is also a plural version. This other function will return an array of objects of the indicated type. Now we are going to use the singular version. In this window, we have some information about this method. T refers to the type of object we want to find, and the function doesn't need parameters. We simply have to indicate the type between these signs, and then open and close parentheses. All this instruction will result in an object of the indicated type. In our case, we are looking for this particular instance. And if we have the reference of the component, we can access directly to the game object that has that component, as we saw in previous videos of this same series. Using the dot operator, write game object, first letter in lowercase, and that way we get the reference to which the script we found is assigned to. And all this instruction results in a game object, so we can assign it in the field we defined. Let's get into the game mode, and here we see that we could find the reference of this game object using this method. If we have more than one object that has the same component assigned, in that case we could have a problem, since here we're gonna have only one of the references and maybe it's not the one we want. 